Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this short video I'm going to check a new 4-in-1 50A ESC from HackRC. In this video I'm going to go over its specifications and soon I'm going to feature it on a build video so if everything will go well a link to it will appear over here. This 4-in-1 ESC is running BLLE32 firmware, features a current sensor and also a BSC of 5 volts with 3 amperes, has a maximum current of 65 amperes for 10 seconds of course per ESC and supports LiPo batteries between 3 to 6 cells. Inside this compact packaging we're getting a high quality XT60 battery connector, spacers and 4 25mm M3 screws, an 8 pin connector with silicon wires, a 35 volt 470 microfarad capacitor, the ESC and the connector diagram. So this is the ESC, as you can see it features on top this cool heatsink and has pretty big pads for the motors. Motor 1 is located over here, then 2, 3 and 4, which is the classic Betaflight layout. And on the back we can find these pads for the battery leads. They are, in my opinion, a little bit too close to each other, so be careful not to show them out. On the bottom of the EC we can find this 8 pins connector. The left pin is the current sensor, then the plus 5 volts, the signals for motor 4, 3, 2 and 1, then the VCC, and finally the ground. In addition, this is a pretty compact ESC. Its outer dimensions are about 42.3 by 40.5 by 6.9 millimeters, and it weighs 14.55 grams. Just as a comparison, you can see how the Hacker C ESC looks next to the 4-in-1 50 ampere ESC from RacerStar, which also supports 6S type of batteries and is running the BLL32 firmware. So you can see that the Hacker C ESC is much smaller, and you won't have any problems to fit it inside tight builds. In terms of pricing, this ESC is currently being sold for $60, which is a pretty good price for a 4-in-1 BLA 32 50 ampere ESC that supports 6S LiPo batteries and features a heatsink. For example, the Dallas C Rocket 50 ampere 4-in-1 ESC has pretty similar specifications and it currently goes for $80, so $20 is a big difference. So, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, soon I'm going to feature this 4-in-1 ESC on a build video and then you'll be able to see it in action. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this ESC, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.